Hey, Lieutenant, go ahead. Name and let's go with it. Right. Lieutenant Scott Spencer with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office. So today at approximately 6.40 p.m., deputies with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office were dispatched to the 300 block of Valleywood Drive here in Spring, Te Texas in reference to an assault with a firearm. Uh, when deputies arrived, they found a 27-year-old Hispanic male in the parking lot with an apparent gunshot wound. Deputies, deputies immediately began life-saving measures until EMS personnel arrived and transported the victim to a local hospital. Deputies also detained a possible suspect. The initial investigation suggests that the incident was the result of an altercation between the suspect and the victim who were former roommates. When the altercation returned physical, the suspect retrieved a firearm from his vehicle and discharged the firearm, striking the victim. Uh, multiple witnesses observed this incident and are currently being interviewed by detectives with the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office uh, Homicide and Violent Crimes Unit. This unfortunate series of events is still under, is under investigation by us actively, along with members of the Montgomery County District Attorney's Office. The suspect's identity will be released pending formal charges. Uh, this is a tragic and senseless crime that occurred this evening, and our thoughts and prayers are, are with the family and victims and everyone involved in it. How many shots fired? Well, we don't know. That's currently under investigation. We have crime scene back here now that's going over the entire area. It is in an open parking lot, and they're trying to ascertain that. Quite a few people in the parking lot at the time. Yes, they have multiple witnesses uh, that did witness this. Uh, yeah, dangerous crime. for children and everything else. Just that's walking. correct. It was time. You know, most people were getting home from work. Okay. What about you? Said one of the other deputies was close by and heard the. That's correct. One of our district deputies was uh, close by and he actually heard the gunshots before the call came in to 911 and then he was responding to the area as the call came in. So he was here pretty quick. He was able to actually give uh, life saving measures to to the uh, to the victim and then actually uh, detain the suspect. Okay. All right. Any resistance from the suspect? No. OK. And yeah, what kind of weapon do we know? I, I do know it was a pistol. I don't know the caliber. Okay. All right. You're good.